the given solution. If it gives this color, its pH is 1. If it gives this color, this pH is 3. If it gives this color, this pH is 5. So, with this we can calculate the approximate pH of the given solution using the pH paper. Actually, the pH paper is, what is the color of the pH paper? Yellow in color. Yellow in color. Now, see this one, what I am doing. Now, I am taking a pH paper. Now see this red color. Which red? Observe this one. Can you tell me the approximate pH value? What is its approximate pH? One. So it is acid. It is acid whose pH is one. You know that zero to seven is acids and seven to fourteen is bases. Exactly seven is neutral. Okay. Now come to the next point. What is this color? Blue color. Huh? Blue color. Which blue? Compare this. Approximate pH. Tell me. What is this pH? Nearly 10. Okay. Nearly 10. So it is a base whose pH is 10. Okay. Next, come to the next point. Now, see this. What is the color? Green color. What is the color? Green. Is it green or not? Come, come. Saliva. Green color. Green color in the sense, its pH is nearly neutral. What is that? Neutral. That's approximately 6 to 7. In between 6 and 7. But my acidic is neutral. Are you clear about that? It is green. Are you clear? Green can be no doubt. Okay. See this. It's, see this one? This is nearly 7. Isn't it? 6 and 7. In between 6 and 7. Are you clear? The saliva pH is nearly in between 6 and 7. Are you clear? You can test your saliva also. Make of some solution. Whatever the solution may be. You give me that. What is its color? Blue color. What is its color? Blue color. Dark blue, dark blue. Okay, 14. nearly 14. 14. Its pH is nearly 14. And potassium hydroxide. So it is a strong base whose pH is 14. Whose pH is 14. Okay. So this is all about pH and pH paper and universal indicator. Universal indicator is a mixture of several indicators. You have to remember that. Okay. Right. Thank you.